I, 34F, feel unattractive and my husband, 41M, of 5 years has low libido. I, 34F, have been happily married to my husband, 41M, for 5 years. We've got 3 kids. Together we've made a family and help each other's dreams come true, both life goals and careers. We lead a generally charmed life. But like all relationships, none is completely perfect. We have different love languages, words of affirmation, mine, and acts of service, his, that, for the most part we overcome this by making a bit of extra effort to speak each other's love language. I do some of his chores during the week. He occasionally pays me a compliment, maybe three times a week. However, the trouble started after we'd had our third child. We hadn't had sex for nine months and when I brought it up, he was shocked. He could hardly believe it had been that long, but when he looked back he could see it was true. We had sex once after that conversation, and then nothing again for a few months. About six months after our baby was born, I started to feel really down about the way I looked. I hadn't lost all of my pregnancy weight, about one kilogram over, but still totally within the normal BMI range. I felt fat and flabby and saggy. I tried to mask over this insecurity by just ignoring it for a while as I'm generally bubbly and confident, but the lack of sex made me seriously doubt whether my husband was even still into me. Google didn't help. All I could find were either stories of men who wanted more sex than their wife, I wish, or people telling women their husband wasn't into them anymore. All of this is complicated by the fact that I can't be the one to initiate sex as this can turn him off. And I also didn't want to pressure him into sex so I just for the most part tried to make myself as attractive as possible and then wait for him to notice. It all came to a head one night when I burst into tears and confessed all my struggles to him. He was very sympathetic and also worried because of course he wants me to be happy. He explained that he just has low libido, nothing to do with me, and that as far as he's concerned he'd happily never have sex again in his life. Not that he didn't enjoy it or anything but he could live without sex no problem. He realized as a result of this conversation that I didn't feel the same way, and he'd make an effort to initiate sex more often. Since then things have improved a lot, we have sex one to two times a month now. And we both enjoy it tremendously. But I still feel like I want more sex. And I still feel unattractive. Past partners couldn't get enough of me, they were always telling me how sexy I was. Kissed me every day, looked at me like they wanted me etc. I have always been treated like a sex goddess. He rarely even looks at me. I am only 34, I feel too young to be shelved like this. Frankly I don't know if I'll ever want to be shelved, but definitely not in my 30s. I am frustrated that I can't talk myself out of feeling this way no matter how much I try. I am happily married. I am off the market. I shouldn't care whether or not I am attractive. It should be enough to know that my husband finds me attractive even though he never says so and only has sex one to two times a month. This should be enough and it's already 10x more than before. But I can't stop my feelings. I miss sex. I hate what I see in the mirror almost every day and I never used to be like that. Update 1. My husband and I had a good conversation about everything and we'll be taking the following steps. 1. Start sleeping in the same bed again. I didn't mention it in the original post, but we've been bed sharing with kids in separate beds, and clearly the time has come to evict the kids from our bedroom, too. He is going to see the doctor to exclude any possible physiological reasons. For example, low libido can be a symptom of heart disease and he's at an increased risk of that. Wouldn't hurt to test his testosterone levels either. 3. We're going to hit the gym together, he'll go swimming and I'll lift weights, 4. If doing those three things is still not enough, we will go to therapy. Either as a couple or me on my own, or both, depending on how things pan out, comment, as far as he's concerned he'd happily never have sex again in his life. This is a really tough one. It clearly isn't about you and he means it when he says it's his libido. One or two times a month is already a compromise on his end and if you want to be treated like a sex goddess, it's very obvious he's not the person who is going to do it, oh OP replied, I am happily married. I am off the market. I shouldn't care whether or not I am attractive. Comment. Honey, these desires don't just spontaneously die because you have a ring on your finger. You are allowed to want to feel attractive and desired. That's a basic, human want and people of all ages and, relationship statuses crave it. I think this is a moment for both couples counseling and individual therapy for you. Perhaps you can find other ways for your husband to make you feel desired, but you need to help him understand how crucial it is to you because if it's not something he craves, it might be hard for him to understand just how fundamental of a need it is for you. I'd imagine him working harder on words of affirmation would help. But I think you can brainstorm together about what would fulfill that need for you. You might even discuss opening the relationship just for sex if that's something neither of you is completely uncomfortable with, P replied. If you want to be treated like a sex goddess, it's very obvious he's not the person who is going to do it. Thanks Jimmy, that was tough to read but I needed to read it. I feel like I have been very lucky not to have needed to worry about this for most of my life. It feels greedy to have these worries when so many people feel this way all the time most of their life. We have spoken about therapy before but decided it wasn't the time for it yet. Perhaps the time has come now. I have had open relationships in the past but I knew it was not for my husband even before we married. I think even if it was open, I still want to feel attractive to my husband first and foremost. 
But if we can solve that aspect first, it might be a way to fill some of the gap in libido depending on how my husband feels about it. Food for thought thank you. Thanks for taking the time to respond and sympathize. It's been weighing heavily on me for the last few months and I haven't been able to speak with friends about it. It feels good to share and hear thoughts outside of my own head. Update 2, I decided to go to individual therapy, and focus on myself, work on myself. My physical self-image was a symptom of a larger problem. Troubles at work, troubles at home, a storm inside. During counseling, I opened the door to a cellar where I had been keeping my true self locked in the dark ashamed of her. I was bullied as a kid, and I had no idea I had accumulated so much self-loathing since then. Releasing that was amazing and so freeing. And so, by the time I said goodbye to my counselor, I was stronger and more self-assured. I realized I had been sacrificing so much of myself for the sake of others, especially the important men in my life my husband, my boss, my father. My manager etc., I was constantly seeking approval, trying to please them. My relationships had gotten completely out of balance. Things started to get complicated. I developed a crush on a colleague, and because I am demisexual, my attraction to my husband started to diminish. The more time passed the more I felt like I just didn't care anymore what he thought of me. At a low point, I said to my, husband, you know, you always keep your thoughts to yourself. I used to find it mysterious and interesting, like a puzzle I could unwrap. But now I realize that there's actually no mystery to unravel. There's just nothing. And the silence is boring. It was hurtful and unkind. I'm not proud of it. Something changed after that. Both for him, and for me, over the course of the next few months I gave less, and I took more. I went to conferences, I left the kids with my husband, I took time off work, I stopped making up for the mistakes of my superiors at work and let them deal with the consequences of their actions. I felt like I was coming home to my true self, my no-nonsense kick-ass self. One night my husband and I were watching Alien, and he confessed that ever since he'd seen the original as a boy, he'd really liked Ripley. She was the kind of woman he had wanted to marry. And so he married me. You should have seen my face, the tears wouldn't stop. I felt like he had finally told me what I needed to hear the most, I got rid of my attraction to my colleague. It's actually not that hard as a demi, I just focused on everything I didn't like about them, and within a week or two the crush was totally gone. I find them a total turn off now. Do you remember I mentioned I wasn't able to initiate sex? That's because it was a huge turn off for my husband. One evening we discussed why, and you know what? He, felt too much pressure if I initiated, because he thought he'd have to perform. Once he realized that he can safely turn me down if he's not in the mood. And also that it's okay for us to kiss and cuddle without it leading to something more he's been okay with me initiating. You'd think you wouldn't get to age 40 without having figured that out, but hey. I guess people never cease to throw surprises. Our sex life improved a lot. I no longer needed his praise to soothe my self-loathing, so I was less needy about it. He initiated a bit more often. But more importantly, with greater enthusiasm and quality. He chooses what I wear sometimes, and I feel so beautiful when he looks at me like I am the only being that matters. And he compliments me. We even got into a bit of light D slash S, which has spiced things up a lot. Even though I had fallen out of love with him for a while, I have fallen back in love with my husband stronger and harder than ever before. I couldn't be happier, I love myself, and I love him so so much. He's just the best partner I could ever wish for, 